All right, what's up? I'm going to review what Keelan Moncree feeds Nadei, a vegan on her period. At least she hasn't lost her period yet. Yep. I just had, oh God, as you probably saw, I just had a coffee for my breakfast. So this is a good well-rounded view of what I eat in a day on my period. Today won't be a healthy day at all. I love me some. Vegans have absolutely no energy throughout the whole day, of course, but in the morning, there's no way for them to actually wake up and do anything without drinking coffee. They do it because it makes their body stressed, agitated, but for them, this is energy. It's the only energy they have. Coffee is toxic. Some carbs, some good old gluten there. Lots of people think veganism, you can't eat gluten for some reason, and I have no idea why. But I will be eating a lot of it today, so thanks. But it's around you can, 11 but it's now. Stupid. <laughs> I'm going to go to the shop. I have to get some ingredients for the day. I haven't had anything to eat yet. Just a cup of coffee, as you saw already. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will also be going through the period products that are used that are all plastic free sustainable organic all that good stuff in digestion video, um, this video is sponsored by nature care so thank you so much nature care um yeah thanks guys uh hope you go vegan after this bye <laughs> we'll see okay just back from the shop didn't vlog in there again social anxiety but an old man did compliment my trousers so that made me feel a bit about myself so for the banana bread i had to get some bananas these aren't as ripe as i'd want them to be but i can just sweeten it up with more sugar so that's fine and then i also got vanilla what? extract for the banana bread so they're just the two things that i needed and then for the vegan lasagna that i've been making for dinner i got my veg in these little eco bags because i don't use plastic got this is this an aubergine or an eggplant i don't know and then for my lunch, I'll be making gnocchi. Also for the lasagna, I have to get another thing because it uses like a whole liter of oat milk. I don't drink soy milk because it's bad for my skin. And then I also got an oat cream mm. for, for my lunch, for the mushroom gnocchi thing that I'll be making. So yeah, uh, let's get started on the A bunch of man-made vegetables and of course you crave okay, I cream. this isn't too hard to see, but I'm just going to do a It will be just uh, another animal product imitation. I'll leave the recipe. 100%. Kind of just go by my own recipe. Wow, so many powders. <laughs> How is this human food in any way? Essentially, this is severe, really severe mental illness. A human being eating absolute sludge, a bunch of powdered grains, other seeds. Essentially, it's all sugar, more easily accessible carbs. This makes no sense at all. Nice life. Okay, so as you see, I just ate my breakfast there. Delicious banana bread. But anyways, on to the important part. Why am I out of breath from going up the stairs? Um, I do recommend eating later in the day, just because I feel like it's... Like she ate banana bread. Again, it's simply fiber and sugar. There's literally no micronutrients in that meal. It's completely man-made, unnatural, to ruin your digestion. Your mood also, of course, because of that. It just makes no sense at all to eat it. Better for your blood sugars and your digestive system. But could be me. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. Don't fight me. <laughs> On to the important part. Period. <laughs> Period cramps personified. I'm going to go through the products that Nature Care sent me. Thanks again, Nature Care, for sponsoring this video. Because they're all cruelty-free, vegan. They use organic cotton. So there's no harsh chemicals. It's not bleached with anything. <laughs> okay, now on to my lunch. It's pretty disgusting. Here's a little aesthetic overview yeah. of the products.
Ugh, Yeah. Oh. I kind of have to gag to see that. Oh, <coughs> oh, Hmm, sad. Let's sum it up. In the morning, she got coffee. Okay, nothing. Then a banana cake. Fiber and sugar. Nothing again. Now, more grains with some cooked greens. Of course, the greens are cooked because no human wants to eat raw greens. Why? Because we naturally don't want to put green leaves in our mouths. Why? Because we are not herbivorous in any way. We never have been and we never will be. Human nature or any animal's nature cannot change. She added the mushrooms because she wants meaty texture in her food. Many vegans do this. She didn't even lie and comment that it's so good. At least something. Oh, this is a lot. Is she gonna eat that too? It's way too much fiber. Her gut must be screaming. What is this? The lasagna. Alright, uh, just quick about the origins of lasagna, the same as noodles with cheese and red sauce. The slaves used to make this when they had no meat. Of course they still had cheese in there, which she doesn't, so it gave them some animal products, but of course all that they really wanted was meat, which they couldn't get or only little pieces here and there stuffed into the lasagna. This, however, has no animal products at all. It's absolute mental illness to make this. It's mental illness in general to make lasagna, because all you want is meat. You've been conditioned to eat that instead. People used to do it because they had no food, and nowadays people do it just like that. Mm. <laughs> and now she makes a vegan version of it. That's just absolutely absurd. <laughs> it's a sign of starvation. Hello. <laughs> Can you say night? Bye. I hope she won't feed it to the kid. Okay. Recipes. Yeah. Oh, thanks. She didn't get over 50 nutrients in the whole day of eating. Not from the coffee, the banana cake, or any of the garbage. And it is absolute garbage. She gets no micronutrients to speak of out of it. It's all cooked to death. And in a way it's good because at least she destroys some of the toxins. That's why, as I mentioned, humans don't want to eat raw green leaves. Every sense in our mouth tells us not to eat it, not to even put it in our mouths, but also, of course, not to swallow it, to chew it, nothing. Because right away when we chew a green leaf, our senses tell us, stop, 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 it's toxic, it's toxic. That's the taste of the greenness. <laughs> this is also why green smoothies and such are called detoxifying. It's not that they detoxify your body, it's that they are toxic and you have to detoxify from the green smoothie. That's it. <laughs> it's an absolute joke. I've heard a lot of vegan women complain about their periods. I don't know how hers is. And as I said at the start of the video, a lot of women do lose it. And it does cause infertility in the long run. You really have to watch out. Thanks for watching, guys.